You excited for CEO? You excited for CEO? I don't know what it's like. I've never been, but uh, if it's anything like Evo, it should be a lot of fun. Yeah, I mean the cool thing is that like it's basically another Evo for me at least because it's like is all it really? yeah, all the gods are there. Gods, West Balls is there. <laughs> FGC is there. I don't know. It's gonna be and plus finals is in a boxing ring. Boxing ring. Oh, and the dun, 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 and the people walk up to you. Someone's gonna have that song for sure. The Giles theme? Yeah. Da, 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 da. Or something like that. I was playing Hack Steve. Oh, yeah. Um, I think he's gotten a lot better. You know, I've actually played Hacks for a while and I've talked about it a little bit. I don't think anyone's seen you really play Hacks before, right? Have you guys played much, like, before? No, we, we've actually only played on my stream or, like, Cactus Cactuar stream. It was only two times. So that was really like the only time you played hacks, right? Like, because you Pretty much, yeah. Like you didn't play him. Hacks wasn't at your place, right? That was Leffen who went no, to your no, place no, before. No, it was also hacks. Okay. Did you guys play much there? We played a little bit in the house. Okay, Probably but since for a couple days, that's about it. But since then, you're saying like he's gotten better. Yeah, I've, yeah. I played him for a couple days back when he was at my house, mm. and I played him a couple days since he was here. He's gotten a lot better. <laughs> Do you think, uh, who who would you give the upper hand to, let's say, if Hax went to CEO? I don't know. Um, Coin flip? Honestly, I think it all depends on how he can perform in a tournament. Because uh, planes don't mean anything to me. Right. It, it all depends if you do it when the pressure's on. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, I don't know. I, I, I would just flip the coin and be like, right, find better. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So his skill is there, but there's also the other aspect of like the tournament side, right? Yeah, and that's another whole skill in itself, in my opinion. Oh yeah, yeah. And uh, I think that's what a lot of players struggle with is uh, just uh, nerves in general. Mm -hmm. um, people aren't calm. People are overthinking things. They probably think I can just tell when people are like not. Like just like suited to like play in competitive play just because like they are continuously choking for years and years and years. Hmm. And I've seen like certain players play for like the last six years and they still they're still choking really hard in tournament. And it's like, why do you have all the experience if you're not gonna like use it to your advantage? Yeah, right. Because I think it comes with experience. Because imagine like your first time time on stage singing or something. You'd be nervous, but if you're on stage singing all the time you're not gonna be nervous anymore right so i feel like if i feel like if you're on the big stage enough and you're comfortable on the big stage because i am i've yeah. already played on enough big stages to where i i'm not nervous i don't i mean i get a little anxious before my matches but i don't get nervous while i'm playing anymore mm -hmm. well that's the thing because like you can you can play on the big stage lots of times but like like you said some people have done that for so long and still don't see success right yeah so i don't know I, I wonder. I wonder what makes the difference because I can see like okay, maybe if a player plays a lot of those high stakes matches but continually just keeps choking, I feel like that chokingness gets ingrained inside of them. It's just like a part of who they are. <laughs> <laughs> like sometimes you have to see the success. I don't know. Maybe that's something that you have to have in you, or maybe that's like a situational thing. I don't know. But yeah, I guess some some people don't have it. Even I like the idea of a CEO of like having a boxing ring played, like having the matches played in a boxing ring. And on top of like the entrance music, like that's that's I think that's what gives it probably an edge over like most tournaments, just in my opinion. Dude, it's it's I'm so pretty, unique. I'm pretty hyped for that. That's the reason why everyone wants to get into top eight, right? Really? I think only top eight gets that, right? Because I don't think the top thirty two they would do that for each person. It would just be on Sunday. Yeah. Dude, oh my god, I wonder who I wonder what people are gonna pick for their songs. What Dude, would you pick? Be, uh, what would you pick? What would you pick? I What's actually haven't picked a song and I didn't even upload one to uh, the CEO when I signed up, but I think I'd be able to like give him a song on the spot. I would probably just like throw it, like think about it with a couple friends or something. Yeah. Uh. So I don't know actually I don't know that many like hype like <laughs> Guile theme songs or anything. So what maybe I do Kyle theme song. Maybe that's me. <laughs> I, I I like that song. <laughs> That thing. W would your song be something trolly or like something that's just like you or like a childhood song or like what what direction do you think you would go? Because I have an idea for me, so I could go with like the Darth Vader like Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, 
Dude, that's perfect because you have. And then I just put my hoodie on. <gasps> and imagine if, dude, what if we bought goggles? <laughs> and I'm just like walking down, just as, or if I bought a Darth Vader suit. Yeah. Dude. Yeah, get the Darth whole. Balls. <laughs> Because there are, there are pictures of you with a hoodie. Put on the hoodie. Show, sh show them what the hoodie looks like. You guys ready for this? You guys ready? You're not ready for this. This is how I play in tournament. Ba, 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 ba. Dude, Dude, I could walk around just with this hoodie. Is it good enough? I think something a little darker would have been better. If you had like a black hoodie, that would have been a little bit better for the Darth Vader look. I could buy a black hoodie. Dude, we're in Orlando. I'm sure we could pick one up. I don't know. But yeah, you you're saying like Well so I feel like that whole like Darth Vader look with like the hood and stuff like really fits you because you have that like laser focus when you're playing tournament. Like you're saying, like you're you're pretty I don't know, you're you're pretty good at playing the tournament setting. Is there anything any substance that you would recommend for having a greater no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Damn it, dude. Damn it. I won't put that in if you don't you know want it. I won't put that in. <laughs> You should put it in. I should put it in. You know why? Why? It's because actually I recently like watched some YouTube videos. Like, all the comments are about that. And I'm like, wow, it's actually a lot bigger deal than I thought it was. It's weird. It's like these, these why things is that, just... Why, why is it such a big deal? It, things just become memes. I feel like there's some strange like hive mind in Smash where like... Like 20XX, that was literally like Toph and Scar on Big House commentary or like Toph and someone. And he just told that story. And then almost overnight it became like everyone's vocabulary. And yeah. you know, Addy Balls is like, I'm pretty sure all like 50,000 smashers will, like all know that. Like that's just... <laughs> that is pretty fun. There's actually a video on YouTube of like the Lauren vs. Best Balls Explained video and it has like almost 35,000 viewers. You know what's weird about that? Um, that was made by Andrew, like JG. I didn't even watch it. Yeah. But he's like an Ice Climbers player. Like he's someone that I know to really care about like frame data and technical stuff and I never knew him to be someone who's like into like the smash drama but uh -huh. then he made the video about you and Morgan which is very strange to me because his previous video was like oh how he to probably knew he was gonna get him get him views <laughs> call out <laughs> that's what people do nowadays they, they sell themselves out they just want to Me do things just for the views Me for the vines yeah do it for the vine <laughs> <laughs> alright how much time we have we have what if I uh Right. Do like some yeah. remix of a song and have it was just like do it for the bar, do it, do it, do it for the bar. <laughs> That'd be funny, dude. I feel like Smashers aren't really big in the vines. It's I'm, not really a thing, right? Dude, I'm in the vine. Dude. I'll do it for the vine. <laughs> oh. You don't know. You don't know what that means. It means like I do. I do. You I, go for style points. Uh, you go for the vine. Well, I guess in our terms, it's like going for the Jiffy Cat, right? Yeah, going for the Jiffy Cat. Well, mm. in the real world, we, we, go, we do it for the Vine. Mm, okay. See, like in the nerd world, we do it for the, <laughs> for the Jiffy Cat, but the real world, we do it for the Vine. See, there's a fundamentally big difference between the real world and us. All right, so once, once people start saying doing it for the Vine, then, then we'll know we made it because we've moved on from Jiffy Cat. <laughs> and then we've gone to actual Vines where millions and millions of people are on Vine. <laughs> But only a I subsection heard, of the population is on Jiffy Cats. Uh, I think Greg is a like, big on that. Greg? Sky? Yeah. Ah. Oh, but wait, it, he changed his name to Sky, didn't he? Oh, yeah, yeah. His name is officially Sky. Isn't that weird? That's funny. It's like changing my name to officially West Balls. Yeah, but I mean, West is already your name, but it's just like adding balls to it. That'd be funny. That would be funny. <laughs> you know what's funny? I, uh, you guys were talking to me in the elevator. Yep. And you guys specifically called me West Balls in front of these strangers. And the second you guys said it, I noticed that the strangers were like, they just had a perplexed look on their face. They're like, what did he just say? And I was like, yep, they just said West Balls in front of random, random people. <laughs> Dude, I, I mean, at least you're not like Mewtwo King. I feel like Mewtwo King was just, oh my god. Dr. PP. Dr. PP. PPMD. Good choice. <laughs> Good job, PP. <laughs> My name is Wes Balls, and I approve of this message. Dude, I feel like throughout this week, you've been like very okay with like streaming and talking to a fucking camera. Like most people I know, like don't care about this stuff at all. Like if I'm like, oh, like let's get a video of this. They're like, nah, I don't want to do that. Yeah, but well, I think I'm just used to it because like I actually my sisters actually wanted to do like some like 
show about mm. their store. So I was actually videotaped for a really long time. So I'm kind of used to like being on camera actually. Okay. And I'm like used to like in schools, I'd like always like, I'd always be on stage or I'd be doing something in front of like an audience. Because mm. I was in, I was in band and then I was also one of the fastest runners. Oh, what the hell? What'd you, what'd you play? Oh, in a uh, band? I yeah. played clarinet. Dude, I played clarinet. What the f really? Yeah. How many years did you play? Like five, six. Wow. So you were, did you get pretty like advanced? Yeah, Probably, I'd right? say um, I was in like high school, like the highest class band, like an ensemble. Dude. And I was first chair for high school, so. What the f Dude, yeah. that's so crazy. It's because like, this, this is how it went. Like, I joined band in seventh grade, and I asked the teacher like, what instrument I should play. Hmm. And he's like, there's not enough guy clarinet players. And okay. I'm like, well, why is that? He's like, I don't know. It's just a really random reason why there's no one playing the clarinet. I wonder why. <laughs> For obvious reasons. Yeah. And then I was like, oh man, maybe I should just fill that spot. Yeah. So I started playing clarinet. And so like, I only played with like, other girls who didn't like take the class too seriously so hmm. I was like always first chair and I was always teaching them and stuff I see and uh did you did you have to challenge your way up to that first chair like no, how, how did like, you I was just, you just got like, it? automatic it was just automatic From I was like first or? chair ever since I joined band just cause like each year the same people in band go with each other you know what I'm saying yeah so yeah. as long like I was still in band with those guys from mi middle school all the way to high school wow and uh, That's I mean, there'd be like new players, but not for like clarinet specifically. It'd just be more girls who would just join for a year and then leave for a year. That is so random. I can't. So, yeah, so like I was the only one in like high school that played clarinet like well. So mm. after I was like the only one, and then like I had in bad grades, I just like quit. <laughs> just so what are your predictions? Let's talk about predictions. Oh, dude, that's good. Let's talk about predictions, dude. I feel like Armada. I feel like Armada is most consistent, but like, I don't know. I I, I want to give it to Armada. So let's let's do top five. First Armada. Yeah, Armada. Armada's mine. Okay, so I'll I'll go in order. I'm gonna do Armada. I'm gonna do Mango. I wish I could see the the top four brackets because that actually that makes a difference. But like, yeah. so just, let's pretend like we don't know about it. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, for me, it's it's Armada Mango. And then, Left and Hungry Bucks. I don't know. Mewtwo King after, probably. I think you and Pew Pew will probably be in those last spots, most likely. There's also Plop, who is super hot fire right now. Wait, why? Um, I don't know. He's just, he's just doing more. He actually beat Hungry Box at the last local. No, twice, actually. He's won two, two locals with Hungry Box at them. Cobalt cool. there as well. So he's he actually I heard destroyed Hungry Box. This wasn't even like close. Was Hungry Box trying? I wonder. Yeah. Well, I mean, he I think Hungry Box usually tries unless he like forfeited it. Yeah. Do we have a thing? Right, cool. <laughs> unless he forfeited it to to give. You want to hear my predictions? Sick. Rust Ball's right. number one. Um. Hmm. I give. I, I think you can beat Leffen. I think you can beat Mango. I think you can beat Hungry Box. I don't know how you and Armada would go. I have a secret weapon for Armada. Falcon? No. I'm Fox. just gonna leave it a secret. Alright, sick. I like that. I like that. Well, if you tell the camera, it's not gonna go anywhere until way later. So no one's gonna know. Alright. This this could be this could be like proof that you have this premeditated. So uh, I think Armada and I because I'm a and he's gonna be and I think I can still but I think it's just uh, a lot harder probably with uh, any of the other so wait maybe but I, as far as predictions go I would go Armada me sick <laughs> Just kidding. I, I'll give Armada, Mango, Hungrybox, Lashon, Mewtwo King. 
<sighs> than like me and PPU. No. And then after that, it doesn't really matter too much. Yeah, it really doesn't. It really doesn't. Unless you're in that boxing ring, it's over. All right, well. All right, well, I think that's a wrap. Dude, I think so too. We'll see if that comes true. So basically, the difference in ours is hungry box and leffen. You think each box has got it over leffen, or will just like place higher? Uh, yeah, I think if they go head to head, it's a toss up. But I think leffen might have the slight advantage. But um, I think just in general, hungry box is a better player, just slightly overall, hmm. just in tournament play. Like, I don't care about peak play. Um, I obviously think Leffen's better, but in terms of tournament, I think Hungry Box has it just because of experience and um, just of his character too. Just it's not it doesn't take a toll on your hands when you're really nervous, so you can still back your spam yeah. just as well as you were doing before, <laughs> just because how easy it is. But like if yeah. you're choking with Fox, you're choking with Fox. You're gonna choke with Fox. Yeah. You're gonna mess something up. You're gonna get hit. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. Yeah. So I think just in tournament, Hungry Box might, has a slight advantage, but in terms of skill, I think Leffen has it. So the, it's kind of like a toss-up. It's like someone's got more skill, but someone's got more experience. Yeah. So it's a battle of skill and experience. Yeah, there's definitely that. I think brackets also matter a lot because it's like it's like your road into that top five spot. Like I think Hungry Box. I think Hungry Box has a better or like a better chance of like that guaranteed top five spot where he'll like breeze through all of like the other like quote unquote lower level players. But I think Leffen actually struggles with like a lot of those like I wanna play Leffen. Yeah. I feel like you could you could get Leffen this time. But I think he struggles a lot more with those like six to twenty I don't know, where Leffen's been like losing the hugs and losing S Fed and losing the Yeah, hey, he's been on a people. losing streak. So, you know. Each box doesn't really have that. Yeah. That's why I just put Hungry Box over him. Yeah. That's a good point. All right. I think that's a wrap. For sure. Cool. Thanks, dude. Yep. Dude, I'm so tired. I'm actually pretty tired. Yeah. It's been a long day. We went for a swim. Yeah. All right. All right. We made out of pools. Let's do it again. <laughs>